Thanks for joining us once again to learn something new to do with your words for life. This is really important because some of you are um, using the vocabulary builder to make your own um, custom boards, add custom words or um, mask and hide icons. Um, so when you're teaching a certain lesson like colors, you only have the colors showing or snack time. You're only having words applicable to that. So what I'm going to show you today is how to save those files. And this is really important because when the district pushes out a new update for your Lamp Words for Life, all your custom boards are deleted. So if you don't back them up and save them, you will lose them and have to recreate them. So you may have noticed recently that the Dropbox icon showed up as one of your app choices. So that's where you're going to be storing these files. So when you're in your LAMP app, if you go to the vocab at the top left corner and choose a new vocabulary, you can see here that I have two custom vocabularies that I need to back up. Your locked boards will always be there when the update comes through. But if you have any unlocked ones, like my outside is unlocked and the motor lab is unlocked. So I need to back those up. So I'm going to go to the top right hand corner to menu and I'm going to choose import export and I'm going to export these files to Dropbox. And you can see that I can choose them. I'll choose outside first and upload. So this says Words for Life wants to open Dropbox, so I'm going to click open and I'm going to sign in. If you haven't created an account in Dropbox, it's super easy. You just sign in to Google with your Fort Worth ISD account. And I think you have to do it teachers with an S dot fwisd.org and hit next. And it'll take you to this login page and you'll put in your, your login credentials, your regular email and password and sign in. Oops, let me try my password again. It's an old password. So, if you don't have a Dropbox account, you can always create one with your Fort Worth ISD login. It's free. It gives you two gigabytes, and that's all you'll need to save your boards, and it's free. It doesn't cost you money. It's free. So, um, we're going to allow this LAMP app to talk to your Dropbox, and you'll see it's exporting the vocabulary. It says this may take several minutes. If it takes more than five minutes, then I would... Um, close the app and start again like you can double click your home button and then you can just swipe out the apps that are open I'm just swiping them up it just closes them swipe up it closes them um, and then you can go right back into lamp and go back into vocab at the top left choose a new vocabulary at the top right you're gonna import export export to Dropbox, choose which vocabulary you're going to upload, and it might go faster because I was now logged into Dropbox. Sometimes it has a little glitch. So we're going to click OK, and then we're going to do my next motor lab vocabulary by clicking menu in the top right, import export, export to Dropbox, choose motor lab, and upload. And voila. Now, if you want to make sure they're in your Dropbox, you're going to click your home button and go to the Dropbox app, open it, and if you look down at the bottom, there's a little toolbar with home, files, photos, offline. 
you can already see they're in there but if you click on files you'll see there's an apps folder and there's a words lamp words for life folder and you should now see the ones you just uploaded motor lab and outside I did colors um, earlier from another iPad and so now they're there and so you can they're all saved and ready to go now once you get an update you want to do that every time you create a board so it's always backed up and so we're just going to delete these because if I get an update pushed out by the district when I open up my vocabulary my custom boards are gone but now we know they're backed up so we don't have to panic so we can go to menu import export and now we're going to choose import from Dropbox and we've got outside it's going to do it for us and title it save I'm going to go back to menu import export import from Dropbox and choose outside and it'll quickly put that on name already exists oh I chose the wrong one So we're going to cancel and try it again. Menu, import, export, import from Dropbox, and Motor Lab. And save. Now we're all ready to go. Our boards are ready. Voila.